I have talked about the pap smear test and why it is important. So you don't get shocked when you get to the hospital or to the community health center. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how the pap smear test is done when you get to the hospital. But before I go into the days, good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the Moss with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you an insight on how the pap smear test is being done when you get to the hospital, what it looks like. So it won't be surprising or shocking when you get to the hospital. But before we go into the days, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messy Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you how the pap smear test is being done in the hospital or in the community health center where you get to where to get to do it. It all depends on your locality. So first of all, you get to the hospital, you do your normal registration, they take in your details, your age, and everything to get prepared. This procedure is usually done in a sterile in a sterile, let's say sterile field for those that means a very clean, it's a very sterile procedure. The things that you need to do with they are sterilized because something is going inside of your body, so they don't want infection to come in. So it's already prepared when you tell them, Oh, you want to do a pap smear test, everywhere is cleaned up, everywhere is sterilized for the whole procedure to take place. So when you do after your registration, they take you into the particular room, they do um their the pap smear test, you lie. You lie on the bed, but this time you have to lift your leg up on a stirrup or on a footrest. For those that have given birth, you know that position you use normally to um, to um, to lie down when you want to give birth. That is the similar position you use when it comes to doing a pap smear test. So I'll try to look for the picture. If I can get a good picture that describes that, I'm going to drop it in the video so that you see. So you lie in this position, the doctor is there so that they'll be able to visualize the whole, um, the vagina, the cervix properly. Then the next thing is that the doctor will insert a speculum. There's what we call a speculum into the vagina to hold the vagina walls open. There's this, what we call a speculum. Like some people have the reusable speculum. These are speculum that they use and they, they sterilize it over and they use it for somebody else. But why in some modern facilities and in big hospitals, like in developed country, they don't reuse most of their speculum. They use a new one for each patient. They, they have the way they created this particular speculum. So they insert this speculum into the vagina. This will help to put um, open um, open the vagina, put the open the vaginal wall properly, so that they will be able to visualize the cervix. So you can see the picture. I'm going to look for a picture that suits what I'm explaining, so that you understand properly. So after that, since they've opened it, they've opened the vaginal walls are now open for them to see the cervix. What they do is that they take a brush, a long brush, they they take it around that place. They take a swab. You see them taking a swab in that area. A swab or a swab depends. In that particular area, they take a swab in that area. Then they put it in the petri dish for the test to take place. What I just want you to know is that you're going to be positioning yourself as if you want to give birth. That position. And they are going to be putting a speculum. It's not usually painful. You might just feel some little, um, should I say a scratch or something? Just going inside. You just feel something strange is going inside um, your body. That's the two things you just have to put in your mind. It's not painful. Then they take the swab, then they do it for a test. So just try and do your pap smear test and know what is wrong at that particular time. Prevention, like I will always tell you, it's better than kill. Prevention is better than kill. So that's just a short video. Thank you very much for staying tuned. After that, they tell you to go home, they tell you your result, they tell you if your vagina is, if your cervix is healthy, if it's cancerous, and they tell you what's next to do. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, 
don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is miss Mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video